Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Ram Report with your free NBA basketball preview and prediction for a Tuesday. It is uh, February 28th. Hope you have yourself a good start to your last day of the month, which is a Ruby Tuesday. As always, don't forget, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right-hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you are using a mobile device. Today's basketball betting podcast is brought to you by your good friends right here at the Ram Report at ATSStats.com. All right, let's get to the SBI, the Sports Betting Index, and what we do in this segment, if you're new to the show, is uh, we take a look at the sports, um, the markets, right? We take a look at what the favorites have done, the underdogs, and if you recall yesterday, I talked about the uh, the, the big run the favorites were having on the straight-up factor and also on the points uh, point spread factor. It was a seven-day streak for the favorites. Well, that was broken last night with the underdogs uh, winning 75% of the game. In fact, the uh, the dogs, 3-1 and one straight up, 3-1 and one against the number, and on the seven-day average, we are now at 70.6% of the favorites cash and tickets compared to 29.6 for the underdogs. And on the point spread, 59.6 for the favorites, 40.4 for the underdogs on the seven-day average. And you want to compare the seven-day average to the year average, and you can see we're still up. So uh, still expecting a little bit of a pullback. We had that pullback yesterday, so uh, keep an eye out on the underdogs in the next uh, couple of days. All right, over-unders, yeah, big night for the unders. In fact, look at the unders the last seven days. 69.4% of the games have gone under the last seven, but keep in mind they did come back last Thursday. So if you look at the last three days, 84.3%. And if you just go look here on the rim report since the 23rd, yeah, we're having a nice streak here on the under. So again, just like we did in the favorites, you saw the underdogs had their night last night. Be careful uh, about the uh, the unders. I think the the over is uh, about ready to uh, to show their uh, their teeth, right? So keep an eye on the overs when it comes to the SBI. All right, let's get to your uh, NBA action here tonight. We'll kick it off at the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, where the Raptors' the last three games have gone under the total, coming off a loss to the Cleveland Cavaliers, 118-93. They are four and a half point favorite here this evening, and we are going to lean with the Toronto Raptors tonight, 115 to 109. The over under to land on 225. 0.05 and you can see the totals at 220.5 so we do like it to go under the total and the, uh, the Chicago Bulls and the Raptors both last three games have gone under the total so uh, keep an eye on that that's why your Kogo is at a very high 76% the Brooklyn Nets not having a really good run right now in fact they are B bears we'll talk about that in the Bears and Bulls report they are coming off a 129-127 loss to the Atlanta Hawks they are tonight a uh, going up against a, uh, a hottest team in the NBA and that's the Milwaukee Bucks the Bucks on a uh, two touchdown run right now that's right they've won 14 straight games and uh, tonight they're a five and a half point road favorite 231 and a half is the total and we're going to lean with the bucks in this one 115 and 113 the over under at 228.7 so we do like this game to stay under the total and looking at the uh, chance of winning for milwaukee is at 55.3 percent washington wizards take their two game losing streak to the atl to take on the atlanta hawks the Hawks coming off a 129-127 win over the Nets. They're a seven half point or seven point favorite here this evening. 235 is the total. We're gonna lean with Atlanta by five. 117 to 112, the over-under at 229.98. So we do like this game to stay under the total. Looking at the Washington Wizards, last four games have gone under the total. Kogo's at 58%. Kogo stands for chance of game going over the total in the rim report. And you can see both teams uh, strength the schedule. Pretty much even at 46.9%. So coming in battle testing it tonight in Atlanta. All right, LA Lakers without LeBron James for uh, looks like maybe a, a couple of weeks. And uh, he hurt himself on the Sunday's game against Dallas. And uh, Memphis Grizzlies coming off a 112-94 win two nights ago against the uh, Denver Nuggets. While the Lakers, uh, great comeback against the Dallas Mavericks. They were down by a lot and they came back to win it 111-108. They are a 8.5 point road underdog tonight in memphis and we do like the grizzlies 118 to 111 the over under to land on 229.7 so we do like this one to stay under the total the grizzlies last three games have gone under the total same thing for the lakers and the lakers coming in on a three game winning streak denver nuggets looking to rebound off that loss to the uh, clippers actually in fact um they lost let me see here the they lost to memphis two nights ago but they did win their last game against the clippers 134 124 and they are a 10.5 point favorite here tonight on the road against the Houston Rockets, who uh, who got smoked by the Portland Trailblazers. 131-114 was the final there. And we do like Denver tonight by 11. 120 to 109, the over-under at 229.2. So we do like it to stay under the total. Houston Rockets coming in on a nine-game losing streak. They haven't covered the spread in the last four. 
while the Denver Nuggets, they are 7-3 straight up and against the point spread in their last 10 games. My line on the game, minus 3.8 tonight on the value index, so a little bit overvalued tonight against Houston, but uh, Houston had them at plus 8, and you are getting plus 10, so you're getting a good, uh, you're getting a nice little uh, discount here on the Rockets when it comes to the point spread. All right, Sacramento taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Thunder coming off a uh, 124-115 loss to the Kings, while the Kings, uh, well, it's a back-to-back -back game situation, so they're <laughs> they're right back at it here tonight. Minus 2.5 is the line for the Sacramento Kings on the road. 237.5 is the total, and uh, we're going to go with the upset here tonight. 117 for uh, OKC, 116 for the Kings. The over under to land on 234.85. Oklahoma coming in on a three-game losing streak. And they are 4-6 and six straight up in their last 10 games. I had the line at minus 1.2 in the value index for the Thunder. So, which is pretty good. Anytime you get a plus in the Ram report, so plus 2.5, and, and the value index in the minus, that's pretty good in my book. So, keep an eye on the Thunder tonight. Might get a little bit of value. And look at the line. The line's telling you it can go either way at 2.5. Just like last night in Boston and New York, right? Um, Pacers taking on the Dallas Mavericks. The Mavs are a 7.5 point favorite. 236.5 is the total. We're going to go Dallas. After that choke job against the Lakers and uh, 125, 118 is the final there. 244.7 is the total. So we do like this one to be like an all-star game going over the total. And we're going to give the Pacers a 53.8% chance of winning, which is pretty good. As you know, 40% or higher is really good if you like the dog. But it's 75% straight up for Dallas. And that's uh, based on the Law of Average theory here at the Rim Report. San Antonio Spurs, uh, man, they're they're struggling, as Joe Namath would say, on a 16-game losing streak, taking on the Utah Jazz. We're off a 118-102 uh, win against the Spurs, so another back-to-back -back game situation. Last four games for the Spurs have gone under the total, and we do like the Jazz here tonight. 123-116, uh, to 116, the over-under uh, listed at 240. I think I said Spurs there. I meant the Jazz. Last four has gone under for the Jazz. And, uh, yeah, so we do like this one here to uh, go over the total with a 240.06. The line's at 236.5. And, a half. and uh, looking at the uh, Kogo tonight is at 63%. Again, Kogo stands for chance of game going over the total. Portland Trailblazers taking on the Golden State Warriors. The Warriors are four-point uh, four favorite here tonight. 236.5 is the total. We do like Golden State to win this one. 121 to 120, the over-under at 242.19. So we do see a lot of... Uh, 240s on the board here tonight, so we might see a lot of uh, high scoring affairs. It's almost like Texas Tech taking on uh, TCU in the, the Big 12 or something. But uh, yeah, there you go. Ch chance of winning this game here tonight 50% for Portland, 43.7 for the Warriors. And the Warriors' last three games have gone under the total, and they're coming in on a two game winning streak. And your final game of the evening will be the Clippers taking on the T Wolves. Minnesota, a six and a half point road underdog, 234 is the total. And we are going to go with LA by three. 119 to 116, the over under at 236.4. So we do like it to fly over the total. Minnesota coming off a, a three game losing streak. Last three have gone under the total. Same thing for the Clippers. They've lost their last two, and their last four have gone over. That's why your code goes at a coin flip at 52%. All right, there, there's your uh, NBA computer picks here tonight. Hopefully, they cash you a nice winning ticket. Let's get to the Bears and Bulls report. And uh, what we do in this segment is uh, in the Ram report. And I'll show you right here if we go to the, um, just go to any of the Ram reports. And if you scroll down in the middle of any of the Ram reports, there's a little bit of uh, explanation on how the system works. In fact, if you go to Tools, Ram Report System, you can learn about my system right there. But uh, in the, uh, in the, um, in the matchup reports, you hear me talk a lot about A, B, and C type teams, right? A type teams in the rim report are teams with a 60 or higher win percentage. B type teams are 50 to 59.9. 49 or lower, those are teams uh, below 500. Those are teams you really can't trust. And I always talk about the bullish, neutral, and bearish teams, right? Bullish teams are 7-0, 6-1, 5-2 in their last seven games. Neutral teams are 3-4, 4-3. And, four, four and, and uh, bearish teams, 0-7, 1-6, 2-5. And this is all about performance cycles, right? So what type of team is going through a different type of cycle will give you a, a pretty good uh, idea what the outcome will be, right? If a team, for, for example, if you got a team that's an A-type team and they're in a, uh, say, a bearish cycle uh, compared to a C-type team, I like the chances of the A-type team getting out of that bearish cycle compared to the C-type team. And that's how I look at sports betting. All right, now you got an idea how the Bears and Bulls work. Let's take a look at the A, Bs, and Cs right now. And then the A-type teams, not one team is uh, bearish. So bearish, you can tell by the, the pink uh, background. And that's in the B. Brooklyn Net is bearish right now. But in the As, teams are neutral and 
Uh, bullish, what you expect, right? Teams that are A-type teams, you expect these teams to be bullish most of the times compared to the Bs and Cs. But when you look at the B-type teams, Brooklyn Nets is a team you want to stay away from. Let them work out their kinks. And uh, another team, yeah, you know what? Only Sacramento and New York are the only bullish teams in the Bs. And in the C-type teams, the teams you really want to stay away from is Minnesota, New Orleans, Chicago, Indiana. Well, actually, you know, most of the C-type teams, I can just sit here uh, run you off all that. Let's talk about the, the bullish teams. And we're talking about Toronto and Charlotte. So those are the C-type teams. If you want to put beer and pizza money, those are the two teams I would be looking at today. All right, let's get to uh, the streaks. Yeah, hey, Frank the Tank, hey, the old school. Let's see if we have a streaker here. And uh, you can see the New York Knicks on a six ATS win streak, Charlotte on a five, Houston on a four ATS loss. Same thing with New Orleans. Milwaukee, the hottest team in the NBA right now at 14 game win streak, San Antonio struggling at 16 games and then uh, you got the uh, the over under streaks you got uh, a lot of fours right here charlotte utah washington the last four have gone under and the clippers last four have gone over the total and you can get this at the rain report go to your dashboard once you get into the uh, the toolbox go to your dashboard go to streaks and then click on nba and uh, there's your uh, frank the tank uh, streakers right there all right let's get to the stat of the day and today's stat of the day we're gonna go to the raptor game against chicago bulls anytime the toronto raptors are a three and a half to six and a half point home favorite coming off an away loss as an underdog the last 10 years and they're coming off a loss against cleveland in fact they got spanked against cleveland they are 13 and one straight up in their next game so that's uh that's uh, that's pretty good if you like the raptors here tonight there's a 92.8 percent chance of them winning based on that stat right there the stat of the day presented to you by the 80 percent club right here at atsstats.com and you're saying ron how do i get the 80 percent club well that's easy all you do is go to your dashboard Go to 80% Club. we got two of them. you got the new 80% Club stats or the old 80% Club stats, which I love too. And you can get that right here at ATSStats.com. All right, the uh, top sports betting situational handicapping spot of the day. Last night, we gave you Orlando and Cha-Ching upset the uh, four and a half point underdog and they won straight up. Tonight, your, um, your situational game of the day is not an underdog, but it's the Atlanta Hawks. I was going to say Atlanta Braves. I'm almost in baseball mode there. But if you're saying, okay, what is this? This here is in handicapping. Teams are in a situational performance cycle, the, and, and the you know the coming off situation, um, you know they're coming off a win, coming off a loss. Is it an upset win? Was it the, you know a letdown factor? Are they playing on three days rest? Those sorts of your situational handicapping spots. Are they in a bullish cycle, bear cycle? What well, I got a formula that I put in the system, and the algorithm spits me out the team that's in the best handicapping spot for you today, and that is the Atlanta Bra. Uh, <laughs> I knew, I knew, I knew I'd go there. I knew I would go there. The Atlanta Hawks, the B-type team, a minus seven is the line, two thirty-five is the total against Washington. Neutral, thirty-one days, just like I talked about in the rain report, right? Neutral team is a team that is a three and four, four and three in their last seven games. So they've been neutral for a month. So that means win one, lose one for 30 days, which is pretty good. Strength of schedule is at 47%. Against those B type teams, like the, uh, actually, you know, they're playing the C type team. So 52%, which is not bad, but look at that. They do better against the Bs, right? The 50 to 59.9. Last two games have gone over for the uh, Atlanta Hawks. And uh, at home this year, they are 17 and 12. I had the line at minus 6.7, so fair market value right there in the neighborhood with the bookmaker, and I got a 60.8% chance of winning tonight for Atlanta. All right, there you have it. That is your NBA basketball betting podcast today for a uh, Ruby Tuesday. Yeah, Ruby Tuesday. Let's get this day out of the way so we can get the merch, and that means that uh, we're getting uh, closer to uh, uh, spring. Uh, well, we are in spring training, but we're getting closer to baseball season, which is going to be a lot of fun. And March Madness, right? All right, have yourself a great rest of your uh, Ruby Tuesday. I'll see you back here on a wacky Wednesday. Cheers.